get asked a lot about how to download and install Notebook. So we're going to take a look at how to do that today, and this is for a Windows machine. So I'm going to go to the internet, and I'm going to go to smarttech.com, that's S-M-A-R-T-T-E-C-H dot com, and I'm going to click on this gray bar here in the middle that says support. So when I click on that, I see the options for software downloads. So I'm going to click on that. And the first thing you're going to see is Notebook. So here's where you choose a version and I'm going to choose Notebook 11 for Windows and that is the current version as of Fall 2012. So it will be the version for 2012-2013 school year. What you're going to download is the Education Software Installer and that gives you the option to download everything that is a possible piece of the puzzle for education that SMART makes. So you can either download a 30-day trial of things that you don't have a license key to or you can download um, or you can opt out of downloading and installing stuff that you don't want to use. So when you click the download button, it'll move you forward to a screen that asks if you have a product key for Smart Response. And so if you have the Smart Response clickers or you have a blue receiver that you can plug in to activate your software, then you can definitely say yes. If you don't have a product key and you want a 30-day free trial, you just click no. Then you fill out your personal information and you click start download. Uh, traditionally, depending on your internet browser or if you've changed any settings, the download will go into your downloads folder on your computer. So you can find that by just navigating to your computer's name, which is uh, my name, Sasha. And then you go to the downloads folder and then it's going to be sitting right there in your downloads folder when it's complete. So we'll pick up the installation piece after the download is finished. So my download's now complete and it's sitting here in my downloads folder. So now I'm going to double click on it to run the installation. You're always going to answer positively to any question that you get asked. So agree and continue, accept and so forth. So I'm going to click next. I'm going to accept the terms of the license agreement. Next. Here's all the different pieces of the puzzle that you can install. And you can uncheck the ones that you don't want to have a trial for, like if you're not teaching math, um, advanced math, then you can uncheck that math tools box. Here's where you can select some language packs to have some additional um, possibilities to work with your students. So if you are working in other languages, then this is definitely where you can highlight the language you're working with and send it over to the right hand side to install those. Also, when you get prompted to install the full gallery, you can make sure you check all of those off. And you click Next. Here's where it's going to tell you everything that's going to install, and then you click Install. And we're going to pause it there until the installation is complete. So now I see that my installation is complete, and I hit the Finish button there. It says to activate your products right away, so it'll do a check for your product keys. If you already had Notebook 11 installed, or Notebook 10 installed rather, it'll keep your same product keys without any issues and everything got rid of Notebook 10 stuff and gives you Notebook 11 stuff. And then it put a Notebook 11 icon on my desktop here and it'll launch right away. So that's how you download and install Notebook on a Windows machine.